I don't know about you, but in our house, there was one TV show that made its way onto the screen nearly every weekend, and that was Scooby-Doo. Sitting there Saturday morning and enjoying whatever mysterious adventure they were on that week was one of my favorite pastimes growing up, and it's largely in part why I love the Murder is Game Over game series. Today, we're taking a look at the third installment in the series, and I have to admit, I'm just as happy to share it with you as I was the second one. Hi, my name's Lil, and this is my review of Murder is Game Over, Deal Killer. For those that haven't heard of it, Deal Killer is another murder mystery game in which you'll play as Detective Guy with his trusty clue-sniffing dog, Cleo. Rather than run in terror the way Scooby-Doo does, she often takes charge and sniffs out the most important pieces of evidence needed to solve the case. You'll be able to collect pup treats all over the world to reward her for her troubles. So if you're like me, prepare to be sniffing all over dark corners and creepy hallways. It's all right though, as if you do tough out your fears and collect all the clues, you'll find that discovering who did it at the end of the game is much easier. This one plays true to an Agatha Christie mystery wood, having you decipher who has motive, who did it, and who just looks more sus than they should. You'll even get the experience of sitting around with all the suspects and making all of them look guilty at one point, and it's just honest good fun. The game isn't horribly long either, sitting at just over two hours, and for the $5 price, it's a no-brainer for anyone who wants to enjoy a good mystery that's well-woven and makes sense. I also appreciated that unlike the second one, there weren't any creepy ghosts to chase me around and make me initiate Operation Ducky. And by that, I mean make him play through all the scary bits. It gives you that fear in a few spots, so it's not without spooky vibes. But at least you won't have your heart jumping out of your chest every time you round a corner. My favorite part is that every time you do have a new interaction with one of the NPCs, all of us would immediately start forming our thesis papers on who it was and why. And despite us joking about it being the cat, you will in fact have to choose one of the witnesses to pin it on at the end. Honestly, it's just a great way to spend two hours. I didn't experience any bugs, and since I don't want to spoil any of the story, I'll go ahead and say it's absolutely pillow board approved. Obviously, if you're not into the pixel or murder mystery genres, then maybe avoid it. But if you are, then this one should be making it onto your wish list ASAP. We want to give a huge thanks to Matthew the developer for sharing the experience with us. We're excited to see what their next project will be, and it's highly likely that you'll find it on the channel once it makes its debut. Before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're constantly showcasing new and upcoming games. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time.